Friday. It's the end of the week, and it's August the 9th. Gang, uh, the notes say it all today. There is no hidden hidden thing about today's programming. It is simple by design. It's just a matter of how simple is it to actually do. Um, you know, there's nothing really hidden. What you see is what you get, particularly with the wad. And then we'll like see how it goes, right? So let's talk about the strength first. The strength first, uh, we're gonna do a complex today, kind of, but it is the first complex of the cycle that we're gonna do from the rig. And that really, I say that, but it really depends on how many people are in class, right? So we got eight spots on the rig. We got three more spots on the platforms. If there's more than 11 people, I could see some of our more seasoned veteran lifters taking this one from the ground in order to get it to, to a uh, back rack position. But what we have today are um, a, a, it's, it's a couple of snatch balances, which there's gonna, there's an, uh, that video attached if you're not sure where the snatch balance is. And then when you're, when, after you're done standing up your second snatch balance, we uh, will do some overhead squats. So this is a complex designed to work on two things. One, the overhead squat, getting comfortable down there. And then B, the, uh, I was gonna call it bar path, but it's really like the correct catch position of a snatch. Or furthermore, maybe even more so, the comfortability of receiving a barbell in a squat. That's why we do the snatch balance. It's really, it's a really good thing to work on if the only, not the only, but if one of the biggest parts of the snatch that intimidates you is the, well, I gotta, I got well, I already, I'm not sure how these overhead squats are going to go, but you're asking me to under dynamic movement, catch a moving barbell in that squat position. This is a, uh, if, if you're that person and I know I'm that person, then this is the kind of drill that you, you should be working on. And we do these. Uh, we do these in weightlifting classes as well. So Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays at 6.30 p.m., Sundays at 9 a.m. This is, uh, this is you know, they don't do this all the time, but that's the kind of thing that can get worked on there. So a little bit of broad exposure of the snatch balance to the masses today. The wad itself, the, the, the Metcon, this is the part where it's like, no, this is simple and it's meant to be. It's just five rounds, four time, 10 power snatches where we want a lot of cycling going on today. So it's no heavier than 95, 65. If you were hoping to get some snatches in, but you were disappointed to see that the complex doesn't actually involve you taking the barbell from the ground, well, here you go, right? there. Here's your 10 power snatches meant to be light enough to cycle. So if when you hear 95-65, you go, well, I can do that weight, but I would just have to do fast singles. Not what we're looking for today. You should at least be able to do one or two sets unbroken. And then you have 50 double unders. So there is a 14 minute cap today. That's really just to keep us on task and, and, and to make sure that we're, we're hitting the stimulus. But if you're listening to what I'm saying about what I, how you load the barbell and how you move it, then you're going to be going pretty fast. Those 50 snatches aren't going to take super long because you will have a light enough barbell that you're moving it pretty well. Which means the reason for the cap today is just to keep you on task when it comes to double unders. And maybe to encourage you to try them or to at least modify the number and still do double unders and get as far as you can with that. I don't expect people to get capped today. I do just expect that you will feel like, oh, okay, we have time. The snatches are gonna happen. We're gonna move, uh, we're gonna move a barbell quickly, but I will have the time to, you know, chip away at, I know it's 250 total double unders. I'm gonna have the time to, to get after it at that particular movement uh, that we spent all of July, like hoping people would work on a little bit more. So let's see, let's see where we're at with that. This is, even for those of you guys who were very, uh, you know, avid supporters of double under month, 250 in the context of a workout is a lot and can be a lot. So let's see where you're at. Um, and there's no, nobody saying that you have to do these unbroken today. So break them up, uh, break them up into manageable sets, do your double, single, single, double, single, single, double thing if you need to, uh, but get it done. And I think that we can do it. We might be getting close to the cap if that movement is really difficult but you want to go after it but then again uh we want to we want to squeeze you with the clock sometimes to see what kind of performance we get all right guys i did not do this one yet but i will do it on the day that you do it i promise